sitting here in Sweden uh, together with Lilo that is here on on a tour, the Juicy Living European tour. Uh-huh. Yes. So how is it for you to be in Sweden? It's pretty cool. I've always uh, wanted to come uh, back to Sweden. I came here about uh, two years ago for Eric Pearl. Uh, he does the reconnection, so I was interviewing him back then. But I haven't come back, and I've always felt quite close to Scandinavia. A lot of people watches my web TV show in, in Scandinavia, including in Sweden. Mm -hmm. So it's good to be here and to meet and to be on the land. I think maybe I was a Scandinavian in previous lives. I don't know, but I just feel home here. I've always felt really close to the northern countries. Um, not that I don't love the Spain and the Portugal, but I really do um, feel in my in my um, who I am. It's closer to to northern countries, so it's awesome to be here. It's a little cold right now, but. Uh, but uh, I'll be going to uh, Denmark and Norway and uh, finishing in Stockholm the tour that I'm doing for a year. So this is just the Scandinavian portion of the tour. So tell me about the tour <laughs> and the work that you do. <laughs> yeah, the work I do is uh, really simple. I travel around the world and I interview people that I'm inspired by. And, um, and then I share that online. So it's a web TV show. Um, and uh, that started, I started this adventure back in 2006 on YouTube, posting video blogs. And at some point, uh, I kept on meeting just very interesting people. And I felt blessed to be meeting those people. And I thought maybe not everybody has this chance. And so I started interviewing people and broadcasting that online. And I did a lot of Skype interviews at some point. I didn't feel quite ready to interview people in person. I, I was quite shy, camera shy. And uh, now with practice, I just decided last year in 2011, in January, to start a, a full year tour around the US. I'm French and American and uh, live in both uh, continents and, I, and it felt uh, really good to start there mm. in New Mexico mm. uh, a year and a half ago. And now I'm doing this for the second edition in Europe and then maybe next year in Asia. Great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because you said uh, you meet people that inspires you. What what is it there that you see that is that makes you want to share their story? What I see is when um, th there is uh, an open heart, when there is a person mainly that transition from one state to the next. That was some something in in their former life as as we're raised to be so going through studies and that a certain life and then felt the suffering and that changed that for the better um, somebody that follows their heart their passion what they love um, somebody that can express that in a, in a passionate way that really you just clearly feel that it's the right time it's the right time for them for for this to come out uh, it's it's a it's a series of things but uh, so it doesn't need to be somebody that is that has already a certain level of success though I've interviewed New York Times bestsellers and um, or, or artists or actors but it, it's uh, it's also everyday people I my main intention is that then it doesn't it's everyday inspiration from everyday people that it doesn't I don't want anymore to see the gurus and the, this person because we're all going through life and we're all reminding each other we all have a piece of the puzzle mm -hmm. and uh, hopefully through those interviews whether it's a well-known person or a person that is not known or from Sweden or from India or from America we're all going through a similar process and it's a global conversation mm -hmm. and uh, this goes then out to the four corners of the world and and to inspire people um, that uh, might be interested by that particular topic so you're interested about past life regression, people are going to find the video of us on past life regression and uh, and then they're going to uh, maybe fall in love with you because I spontaneously say crazy <laughs> things in my video as yeah. I did with you. <laughs> but just, uh, I think that's so great with you because you are, you are very present. I can tell that you, you follow the road from your heart, right? Yeah. And the people you meet, you... Yeah. You really follow your heart there. 
Yeah, I do, and it wasn't. It hasn't always been the case. I, uh, I've, I, my parents divorced when I was 12, and I was very uh, afraid to love. I was afraid to love a man. I was afraid to, 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 to be myself and um, and uh, to show up as I really was. So I, I created a lot of barriers and a lot of walls. And um, and as I started this self development journey about 12 years ago. Uh, I started to to discover that really my future was empty, and it was I could create anything I wanted. And from that moment, I started to becoming more and more curious. And and especially since the beginning of the tour and interviewing everyday people, I started to to see that there was so much, so many stuff I made up, and uh, there was so many illusions when life was really simple. And and when I started to accept to just be vulnerable and open my heart again, then everything started flowing from abundance to a man to 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 everything in life because i was I was who I was, and then like it or not it's okay, but it's who i am and i'm i'm i can i can I can shine out then my essence and my soul and what I'm here to do, so it's less and less conditional, I would say, mm. and the less conditional it is, uh, I feel the more we just we just uh, we're present. Mm. We can really be present. There is less pressure on us, and uh, we're just here to to have fun. And hence, the, it's called the Juicy Living Tour because it's there is this juiciness and this natural fun about life and this abundance, and everything is there. There's no separation, but we have created the separation. Mm. I can see why you, why you choose the word juicy, because <laughs> I would say you are juicy, full of life, and uh, and and to have fun. Enjoy. Yeah, it's, the fun is important, and uh, and I can also be very serious. So, and I could be very. I had a lot of masculine energy, so I would really before clo just like really just open those closed doors, and because this is where I want to go, and I'm gonna go there now. But the more the feminine energy is coming, especially last year when I spent some time with the dolphins and in Hawaii, mm -hmm. um, probably some would say, and I felt really home there, so maybe I had some past lives there. Whatever it is, I just felt really, really good and at home. And there is this, uh, I cut my hair. Uh, physically, you could see it. You could see it on the videos before and after that there was the light coming in. Mm -hmm. And, and something I had let go of, and I could uh, just be more in the allowance and then the receiving and to the welcoming of the, the magic and the unexpected. And from there, I, I believe I've been more stepping in the unknown and really seeing, because I give a chance to life and the universe, then it would come. Mm. And it would be more and more generous and loving and helping. Mm. And there wouldn't be any more the have to. So. This has been just delicious to share, and for so the tour is is not just the interviews. It's really about also my own journey that I believe is the same journey for all of us. So it 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 sometimes it helps people to to see that and to see those changes to, through another person, and because you see that I can do this too, yeah. and it's possible, and we can all do this. So it's it's constant reminders. For for me, for the people that are watching, for um, but I'm having a lot of fun, and I think that's that's important that we all have fun in what we do, and we do it with love, from love. And once we do it from love, and, and um, we please ourselves, our souls, we know exactly that we're uh, doing what we're supposed to be doing, mm -hmm. and then it shows. Yeah, it shows. It spreads fast. And when when the purpose is bigger than than um because I, I could just imagine you uh, come to different countries, you've never been there before. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you might have to drive on the other side of the road even, or yeah. <laughs> whatever it takes. But you do it. Yeah. I, I've, I must say I'm an adventurous person to start with. I, I'm curious and uh, um, I just, uh, it's kind of, it's, I also, I also think that our life purpose is linked to or just our natural abilities too. Sometimes it might not mean we're the best at it, but we just naturally just love it. I didn't know, and I don't really see myself a bit more and more, but as a communicator, but originally I really thought I cannot communicate. Um, 
but other than that, the energy that I have and the, the fact that I was born in, in Santa Barbara in California with French parents and I have dual citizenship, that um, I grew up in between two countries back and forth because every two year we moved. Uh, uh, my parents have restaurants and they, my, they love to travel, so they would do that. I have a mom that is more materialistic and a dad that is spiritual and from the beginning he put books in my hand, but without truly understanding spiritual himself but being interested in it's like those books were handed mm -hmm. so everything just makes sense everything made sense at some at some point and so for me to travel and to discover new countries and be in this unknown is is quite something that my personality actually was used to growing up mm. and I love it I find that exciting at one year old I did my first transatlantic flight so I, I love the flight. I love to see a, a plane take off. There is an excitement about that. Mm -hmm. So it raises my vibration. When I'm traveling and meeting people, it raises again the vibration. I love learning and understanding and spending some one-on-one -on -one time with people. It raises further my vibration. And then just when we, when we raise our vibe and the more constant we are, then, then, then you know, law of attraction, boom. Mm -hmm. There is another, there's, there's more that comes to match that. And then you fall back down, <laughs> and then you crash again, and <laughs> you go back up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So now you're heading over to Denmark. Yeah. And Norway. Yeah. And back to Sweden. Yeah. Do you have other countries to go to in Europe uh, with the tour? Yeah, yeah, the tours this year started in April, so this is really the beginning of the tour, and uh, I'll be going to so many more countries. I just came back from Switzerland, Belgium, Holland, England, Ireland, and France, and um, but I'll be going through Eastern Europe. Oh my goodness, Eastern Europe is moving, shaking. I'm receiving many, many, many emails from uh, Bulgaria, Romania, Lithuania, and also all the way up to Russia. So I'm gonna just open up the frontiers. I mean, there's no more Europe or, you know. Yeah. But uh, yeah, and, and this will, I will need a new level of, uh, I'll have to, I'm I'm starting to prepare now for that because I'm I'm seeing that uh, to this day I'm traveling by myself, setting up the camera and doing so many things. But over there, I really want to travel with somebody. Um, Eastern Europe is just not the same, and I need translations, and so it's a lot more organization. But as last year prepared me for Europe, I think uh, Europe is preparing me for Eastern Europe, mm -hmm. and so on. It'll, it'll, I don't try to plan too much ahead. I go with the flow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been great meeting you and uh, thank you. Thank you. Oh. I guess uh, your books. We'll, we'll cut this. <laughs> or not. <laughs> um you are also an author. Yeah. And written two books, is it? Yeah. Yeah. I wrote uh, the first book in February, well, February, the 16th of February, 2009. I will remember this day forever. I got fired. <laughs> and uh, my ego was definitely shocked. And uh, it was a hard, it was just a, a very difficult day for, for many reasons. And uh, I had moved from the US to London for this position in marketing. and. I was I had activities online. I was already doing the YouTubes and already had millions of views. Back then, I had two, three million views, and I knew there was something going on, but I never had the courage to do this full time. So on that day, that was kind of like the 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 cutting line, the 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 pivotal moment, the turning point, and I started to really invite life in and decided to share my journey in a book from the moment I got fired mm -hmm. to applying the law of attraction and, and how will I live my dream job. And so that was the first book. I lost my job and I liked it. The I think it's the thirty day law of attraction diary of a dream job seeker. And then the second one is I had no money and I liked it, uh, which is more on the abundance, the natural abundance, because after losing my job, I went through a moment of having no more money and really, really suffering from that. Mm. Who was I if I was not my job, the money I had on my account, the title, and uh, then I had to go back to my parents at 32 when I was difficult. But uh, in the end, there's so much I've learned and then my heart reopened and now 
I wouldn't be living the juicy tour and everything wouldn't be flowing that well and if it wasn't for that moment so it's it's to me it's a very important moment where the suffer the, the heart just open and from there everything has been here and now it's been the real healing process before I was in a healing process but not really the real one if it makes sense it was the trying to and very mental now it's it's aligned with the heart mm. so it's beautiful uh it's about the open heart the journey of an open heart on the second one and the third one will be about the tour yeah and it'll be a whole series yeah yes exciting <laughs> yeah. or should i say juicy <laughs> <laughs> juicy, juicy. <laughs> yes. all right so thank you so much lilo for sharing your story with us Thank and thank you. you for being here and all over the world, wherever you are, oh, <laughs> doing yeah. your thing. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks to the to Sweden <laughs> for being open to and uh, really great people here. Mm. Mm.